Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. I'm so excited. Am I excited because it's the return of the Golden Globes after they sunsetted themselves? Because according to this article, the lack of diversity in their voting body. <laughs> no! I'm excited because... There's only one after the Golden Globes TV awards ceremony left to be announced, and that's the Emmys. And at the Golden Globes, <clears throat> Amazon's one billion project rings of power didn't get a single solitary nomination for the Golden Globes. Woo! Let's have a look at this, shall we? Certainly in the major categories. I don't know the long ago. So let's have a wee look. Best motion picture drama. None of that nonsense. We're not interested in the motion picture shite. No, we're interested in the TV stuff. Yeah? We're in interested in this. Best television series drama. After Guess Who Was Coming for Second Breakfast was nominated by, I don't know www.wegotpopcorn.com as best supporting actor best supporting actor they said about 10 lines in the whole show anyway best oh hold on we should ladies and gentlemen best television series drama nominations are better call Saul the crown House of the Dragon, Ozark, and Severance. No Rings of Power? Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't even make best drama? Well, of course, look. We're making it. Well, I say we. Me. Ah. We're making a mock. We. I did it again. Me. Ah. I'm making a mockery of that out of this situation because this is absolutely right. There's no way on God's green earth that Rings of Power should be in any way, shape, or form be nominated for anything other than biggest piece of dog shit of the year. Best mid-acting of the year. Best complete lack of any understanding of Tolkien's work of the year. It could definitely get into some of those, but what I was surprised about is the fact that it wasn't nominated in the best television series, comedy, or musical. Because it was a fucking joke. And we all know it. Best performance by an actor in a, dra in a television series drama. Well, I can only imagine the plethora of options that are available from the ranks of power. Well, there was a Dar, of course, who was Uncle Benny in Game of Thrones, but he's left the show. <laughs> now, let me just, let me just kind of quantify that for you. This is meant to be a five series story and a Dar after the first season, was to, is to continue on as a character. Remember, they are currently in... <laughs> Which, by the way, if you didn't know, it used to be the Southlands. Yeah. I knew because I saw the font change from the Southlands to... Mordor. Because the dumb showrunners that between takes go to the nearest window and start uh, 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 start licking it. Think we're as dumb as they are. Uh, Tolkien fans, they're like known for being like stupid and stuff. But the guy who played Adar, whose character is continuing in the show, was like, no, I'm out. <laughs> I, I'm out. I quit. 
because he can see the writing on the wall he could see exactly what a big monumental piece of dog shit the show was and didn't want to be a part of it anymore didn't want to tarnish his reputation as an actor because he's a good actor with this show and arguably the best actor in the show i mean i wouldn't say arguably i'd, I'd say definitely but he's gone he's out of here so the best nominations, best nominations of dramas, TV actors. I could do a TV show. I mean, award ceremony. I could say stuff like that. Jeff Bridges, The Old Man, Kevin Costner, Yellowstone. Diego Luna for, <laughs> oh my God. Shit. Holy shit. When a guy is in a prequel to a prequel and in the film that he was in he died even he gets <laughs> Diego Luna even he gets a nod above anyone in, in Rings of Power and again that's probably that's probably fair play that is probably fair play because the acting was fucking atrocious and men weren't allowed to act they were allowed to be subservient to all the absolute bitches on the show the horrible women on the show that displayed no likable qualities no relatable qualities no desirable qualities whatsoever they were allowed to sit there in silence with their arms folded taking all of the shit because this is an intersectional piece of dog shite again yeah I can understand why Diego Luna would be uh, nominated above that nonsense. Bob Odenkirk, better call Saul. Get in there. And Adam Scott Severance. No rangs of power. None. Best performance by an actor in a television series, comedy, or musical. Anyone from Rings of Power? No, Atlanta, Barry, only murders in the building, only murders in the building, the bear, nothing. Not one thing. As you saw at the beginning of the video, you get nothing. Good day, sir. Best performance by an actress. Here we go. Because, of course, ranks of power, as I just stated, that was a fucking whammon show, you know? That was full of the strongest of the whammons. We had Galadriel pissing everybody off wherever she went, probably pissing in her fucking pants, pissing in the sea, pissing everywhere, pissing everyone off. We had Muriel. She was diverse. That was her strength. Because diversity is our strength. There was... So let's see, shall we? Best performance by an actress in a television series drama. Emma Darcy, House of the Dragon. The woman who says, I'm very good at portraying a woman. Laura Linney, Ozark. Ozark. Imelda Staunton, The Crown. God bless you, my majesty. Hilary Swank, Alaska Daily, and Zendaya oh, why? for Euphoria. I didn't see no Galadriel, my girl Galadriel. I didn't see my girl Galadriel in there. I didn't see strong woman of flower picking who's a military leader above a thousand plus thousands year old elf who's been doing it probably most of his career. Where was, where was Wham flower picking Whammon? And the award goes to, sorry. And the award goes to flower picking Whammon, Lord of the, Lord of the ranks, the ranks of the powers of the powers of the ranks. Oh, no. What about diverse Disa? 
well, she only had about 10 lines in the whole bloody thing as well. Because she was used as a tool, a diversity and inclusionary tool for the show and had no fucking role. Just like poor Gwendolyn Christie had to come on when she was doing the Star Wars stuff. Go, oh, Phasma. Yeah, she's doing the art. Oh, yeah, she's got the... Ah, and she's the strong woman and she's got a... She's in it for fucking nine seconds. Nothing. Nothing. Best performance by an actress in a TV series, comedy, or musical. Nothing. Best miniseries, anthology, or motion picture made for TV. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing. You get nothing. Good day, sir. See you next video.